Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome back to Caesar 3. Monuments, new options, new maps, new gameplay systems. Augustus has received an update and I've got an early look here. They sent over the early version, the next version of Augustus early to me. So this is it's a whole new game. It's a whole new thing. We can build monuments in this game, and they've changed how some military stuff works. They've, the, there's grand temples, which have special bonuses and abilities, and we're going to be checking this all out today. And as we're at the end of 2020, this is going to be essentially Caesar 3 in 2021. Look at this, look at this Augustus. And there's so much that we want to check out today. Uh, let's have a look at options. This is an options menu for Caesar 3. If you guys didn't know the history of this open source port slash modding scene for Caesar 3, it took, uh, it took Bianca 10 years essentially to make Julius. Julius is a more vanilla open source port, so if you don't want all these crazy new features, go get Julius, um, where it is more vanilla with some UI improvements and all old saves are compatible. This Augustus saves are not compatible and it starts adding in a lot of modding stuff like um, roadblocks, like monuments, like 10 military forts and all sorts of cool things. Uh, so yeah. Um, Bianca originated the project, and now it's open source and everyone's working on it. Anyway, there's a few pages here I want to just show you the options I'm using today. So I've got extra information in the control panel, smooth scrolling around, very very nice. Uh, draw walker waypoints, that's just a little thing that's not so important. Show range when building reservoirs and fountains and wells, very useful. Draggable construction size, yep, it shows you the size like 9 times 13 or whatever. Enable zoom, yep, leaving that on because we want to zoom in and out. Highlight legions on cursor hover, that's a new feature. It makes controlling military a little bit nicer. A military sidebar for when you select military units, very nice. And I'm disabling this because I'm using WASD to move around because there are customizable hotkeys and I've got some hotkeys for various common buildings and other things. You can rebind hotkeys, which is not just a useful feature for everyone, it is also great for accessibility reasons. You know, you want to play the game sometimes. Rebindable hotkeys opens up uh, options for people who need more accessibility. Anyway, there's other pages here. Page 2 on difficulty. Uh, I'm leaving most of this stuff off because I don't want to change it. Uh, but you can customize your difficulty here. I'm leaving Jealousness of Gods on, so that's like normal. I'm enabling Global Labor Pool because that just changes Caesar 3 to be like Zeus and Emperor, and it just creates a whole different sort of game. So I'm leaving that on, so we don't need feeder houses and stuff like that. You can leave that off if you want to keep that challenge there. You can change the retirement age, set a fixed worker pool. Uh, block buildings around wolves. I'm just leaving most of these off. Allow building multiple barracks. Not doing that. But completed grand temples, grand plus eight culture. I'm turning that on to show off more usefulness of the grand temples. But also, culture was sort of a problem in Caesar 3 where you needed culture dumps. Our ability to build efficient blocks meant we built fewer schools, fewer theaters, fewer amphitheaters because we just had this efficiency. And the way Caesar 3 counts culture is the number of buildings to population, not coverage. So that didn't make sense. You could have 100% coverage and it'll say you need more theaters. So this allows us to boost our culture without culture dumps, which makes a lot of sense. On the next page we have city management. You can change buying market ladies don't distribute goods. Like, I'm leaving that off because there are uses and things. It's a quirk, but it doesn't make sense, but I'm leaving that off. Card pushers can go off for granaries, can go off-road. This I'm leaving off because I'm used to granaries not being able to do that. Uh, double the capacity of card pushers from getting granaries, that just makes things easier. Tower sentries don't need road from barracks. That was always just annoying, so I'm just gonna leave that off. Uh, leave, turn that on, rather. 
Uh, farms and wharves deliver only to nearby granaries. I don't want that because I like the overflow. Uh, food isn't delivered into getting granaries. Again, I like the overflow. All houses merge. I'm leaving that off just for some more natural variants. Randomly collapsing clay pits and iron mines take money instead of, I think, uh, needing to rebuild it. Because that's just an annoyance. Just rebuild it automatically. <laughs> just take the money. Just take the money. Warehouses don't accept anything when built. That's a convenience thing. You never want to build a warehouse accepting everything. You want to build a warehouse accepting a few things. So default should be off. They should be off, right? Uh, not accepting everything. Houses don't expand into gardens. This is just... I can't stand it when they do that. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna turn that on, okay? And user interface, uh, we're back on page one. Okay, this is what we did just now. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Now, Lizaran has continued making maps, and I want to play on Brigantium today. Conquest of Fertile Land. It's a central province, enormous, and the city is besieged, so we gotta well, uh, set up military pretty quickly, and it says a somewhat easy assignment. I'm not sure... That's correct, because 75 culture, 75 prosperity, 80 peace, 90 favor, and 7,500 people sounds a little bit trickier than somewhat easy, but we'll find out, I guess. Let's go ahead and start this map. Here we are. We're in the game. We're in the game. Look at this lovely... If you haven't seen it, if you haven't seen it, look at this smooth scroll. Look at this ability to zoom in and zoom out. Oof. Here's the map we're looking at. Lizaran, who signed the map, Liz over there, uh, has this interesting map design style of it making it natural looking. It's sort of very organic, which I do like. I do like because especially with the new global labor pool and roadblocks, organic cities are more possible than ever before. Now, middle mouse click resets the zoom and I just want to go over a few things on this little window right here. If I click on religious structures, there's a new grand temple menu for pantheons and for the five grand temples. There is a readme file which says what these do. These grand temples do allow an option when you build them. You can choose one or two options to upgrade the temple as well. And they do various things like um, trade ships move faster. The Mars Grand Temple acts as a second barracks. The Ceres Grand Temple makes uh, the Ceres Temple Walkers distribute food. You know, it's, it's all sorts of things which I don't have offhand. Pantheon is essentially a grand oracle. It makes all the gods a little bit happy. Uh, a lot of it happier, I don't know. And it also um, it acts, acts as a destination point for um, uh, religious walkers, for the priests. So you can use destination walker on priests with the pantheon. Um, let's have a look at some other things under this. There are now new graphics. There's new graphics. For example, we have a goddess statue. We have uh, a senator statue. We have... Anything else here? An obelisk? Hmm. Right. I'm actually spending some money. I should probably not be doing that. Uh, I think those are the new statues under trees. There's basically... You can plant actual tree tiles, which look like certain trees. These are the ones I like the best. See, even Lazara knows <laughs> using these trees. So now you can determine how your gardens look by planting very specific trees. All these trees are available. See, fir tree, you can do that. Uh, you can do palm trees. That's very nice, right? The, the nice options there. Uh, parks, there's now blue pavilions. Uh, there's red pavilions, orange, small pond, right? Uh, there's also, no, no, there's also under, there's a large pond. Look at this. It's, it's a large pond. Look at the large pond, right? It's, oh, you can, finally, finally. Uh, there's special paths as well, like a pine path. You can do this. This one's a little bit weird. You can rotate it with some keys, uh, to make the path look in certain directions. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, I think that's all for here, yes. Under the engineers section, there's now work camps. This is a whole new graphic made by the Augustus team. They have an artist now. There's a work camp to work on monuments. Uh, keep in mind monuments, for example, these things. They're 
the how do I can I preview this? It's a monument. Look at that. There's monuments. Uh, there's a work camp there. There's an engineers guild also for monuments, and a lighthouse, which halves the time of uh, storms basically. And shout out to Arel Deer for the main artist for creating all of these new visual assets. Uh, so Augustus now does requ uh, require some extra files, extra mod files for these graphics, which is it's just so nice. Uh, there's now a supply post for... It works sort of like Caesar 4, where your forts need food to boost their morale. So they can be starving or well-fed with many different types of food, so you can get extra uh, morale from feeding them more types of food. Uh, so it, w it works like the mess hall in Caesar 4. Uh, and to, to counter this, the morale boost they get from training at a military academy is lessened. So it's now split between the military academy and supplying food. Uh, is there anything else? Um, I think that that's on the surface. That covers a lot of stuff. So today I want to actually be building. I want to be building on this map. Now it said the city is besieged and we can see that where there's no trees and openings we're probably going to be invaded from here. This farmland is threatened so I think we should go for fish. I can't actually tell which side trading is going to happen on. Is it this side or the other side? I actually don't know. Uh, but starting here seems like a good idea. Uh, by the way, World map, this stuff, modding, is planned. Right now it uses set things, so it's just as Valencia. Because default Caesar 3 map editor, you gotta pick one of the set maps. But the modification of this is on the way, I think. Uh, I don't think it's implemented, but let's see. We can sell uh, vegetables, oil, pottery. If you didn't know, it now shows land or sea trade route. See, that's a land trade route. This is a sea trade route. It just says right there with an icon. Uh, so oil pottery, this one, uh, weapons, furniture, pottery, this is 600, 550, 450, 350. So pottery, weapons, furniture might be a good start. We can sell wine, more pottery, we can sell a lot of pottery. And more weapons, oil, vegetables. So I think we're going to start with pottery, furniture, weapons, open to Taraco. Can we manufacture those things? Clay pit. Iron Mine Timber Yard. Yes. So we can start setting up right here. This is going to be my first housing area. We can wall off here. Uh, so we can... Yeah, I think I'll wall off here. So then the farms will be outside the wall. That makes sense. All right, let's let's get started. Oh, I haven't played Caesar 3 for a while. But let's, let's, let's build something simple. I'm actually going to clear off most of this. Now I'm not too concerned about... Deleting trees, because I can plant trees. I can plant trees. Uh, is this mission-based? It is mission-based. There are... Oh, right. The background images are scaled up now. <laughs> That's... There's no... It's not surrounded by black. Wow, okay. There are targets. We can win this mission. Uh, oh, right. There's, there's changes here. Uh, let's see. What are the changes on this stuff? They fixed the pillars not having proper tops. Um, under here, there's a new housing tab to show you the split of houses and what they're demanding. Lapinlaid, thank you so much for remaining a Zachalite. Um, under the gods tab, uh, the color of the large temple can turn green, which shows a grand temple. So you can have a grand oracle as well. And also, blessings now show like they do in Pharaoh, where they get sun symbols, up to five sun symbols, and then you can get a blessing. So the way blessings and curses work now, are changed and also blessings have actually been changed um, so that useless blessings have become more useful like I think the Mercury blessing and the Venus blessing have changed to something a bit more useful so that there's more point to getting them all curses as far as I know are the same uh, let's start by dropping taxes to zero and also uh, when on the chief advisor the employment problem it'll tell you the number uh, of people not just a percentage uh, so that's good. Do, will the graphs still go out of bounds? I don't know. I don't know if the these graphs can still go massively out of bounds by having 142,000 people in your city. <laughs> maybe yes, maybe no. Alright, let's build something. We don't start with a lot of money. We are playing on very hard. Yeah, 
Uh, monthly autosave. I'm gonna turn autosaves on because we have that. Uh, difficulty, yeah, God effects on. We're very hard, yes. Let's build a very sort of simple starting block. Nothing too fancy. Um, and I can just get this going, right? Build some, oh, this is, this is nice, isn't it? Okay, nice. Uh, I'm gonna start fishing on this side. Or should I fish on this side? There's fish here, right? This fish is a little bit closer, I think. So I think it's more efficient if I go this way. So what I want to do... I want to have a road there. I want to have a granary. I think this... Yeah, I'm gonna have a granary here. And I'm going to roadblock. Yeah. By the way, roadblocks have a new graphic. And also, roadblocks have special orders to say what is and isn't accepting. Uh, if you so desire. And I'm gonna have this road. Look at these paths. They, they path into these stairs now. And they also path into the side of the granary, like that. Just a nice little touch. Nice little touch. I'm gonna have this extend down this way. And then I'm going to have... Fishing wharves over here. Make sense? Yeah, good. Alright, uh, let us also make sure this is contained. Uh, we're probably going to need a decent number of people here. Yeah, I'm going to leave a little bit of gap so we can extend down this way as well. I guess I'll just plan for it now. I'll extend the road there and roadblock here. Okay, so this granary is going to be accepting just meat and we can set proportions if we want to serve different types of food uh, but for now i'm just going to leave it on purely meat uh, you can tell quartermasters or market ladies to allow access into these uh, which i'm not gonna mess with now quartermasters are the ones which feed the soldiers there's so there's so much there's so much stuff <laughs> that has changed it's it's so... It's it's like non-stop. I've been recording for 17 minutes and I'm still telling you of new features. <laughs> it's, so, <laughs> it's so much stuff. 17 minutes of new feature, new feature, new feature, new feature. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a sip of coffee and calm down a little bit. Mm. Let's let's unpause the game, let people move in. Which, again, a new thing. A new thing. They've added back in some unused voice lines. I've heard there are jobs here. Uh, I want to be a lion tamer. We've heard that. Greetings. I'm new to this place. Do you know of anywhere to live? We've heard that. They say there's food here. Is it a good place to live? That was unused in the original Caesar 3. It has implemented some unused stuff. For example, these native camps, it's using the old housing graphics. Look at that, native meeting huts. Um, that was unused, in case you didn't know, in the campaign. But there's new voice lines as well. There are, of course, um, bug fixes. Uh, and let's see, can I build a reservoir up here? Yes. No. Uh, it's got to be down here, I think. Let's clear some space. Reservoir. Look at this. Reservoir range. Um, would that be too far? What's the... It's got to be pretty close. So if I do this, I think I might be able to just about... Nope. Fountain. What am I doing? I've got hotkeys. No. Firehouse. So I'm going to put firehouse. Engineer's post. That's road. Fountain. I can just about... Hit that. Hit that. And I'm gonna put... Rome pays less wages. Okay. I'm just gonna cover... This. Okay. Those two houses on the end can't get water, so it's fine. I'm just gonna do that. Uh, ooh, I should prioritize. Oh! Another tr thing I just remembered. Fishing wharves now fall under food production, not industry and commerce. Thank you. So now if your city survives on fish and you want to prioritize food production, it affects the fishing wharves rather than the fishing wharves being mixed into the clay pits. So food production is now all onto that. 
Uh, <laughs> let me prioritize water, prefectures, and engineering there. Okay. Um, what's wages? It dropped to 30? Okay. Uh, it dropped to 29. Okay. So now people are moving in. So we can set up some fishing to just evolve these houses really quickly. Let's go... Uh, we're gonna need a shipyard. And then we're just gonna put down wharves. I don't know if there's any rescue funds on this. Uh, four? Four? Should be enough. I keep... I gotta get used to these hotkeys. Uh, let's do that. Let's do this. And then... I think I have hotkeyed roadblocks. No. No. Yes. Okay. And then I need... Firehouse. Engineer's post. Okay. And they don't need any houses because it's got a global labor pool. People move in and we can start getting some food going here. Yeah? Okay. And then we gotta focus on our exports, which are gonna be weapons, pottery, furniture. Probably weapons first because we need to be exporting that. Raw materials, iron mine. We can just have it here, right? Yeah, we can just we can just do it here. Iron mine. Um I haven't done this for a while. Uh, workshop weapons. Weapon. Nope. Misclicked. Weapon. Firehouse, engineer's post. Ah, oh, hotkeys save so much time! <laughs> uh, yeah, have you guys seen the new roadblock graphics? It's not my crappy one anymore. It's actually got some depth. That's nice, right? Uh, how about looping around with an extra pair of firehouse and engineers? I could do lots of things to, to make this more efficient, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> I don't want to play super efficiently. I should actually practice making cities prettier. Okay. More people are moving in. I should plan to have a market, which I'll place here. And market special orders, if you didn't know, we can do this. We're going to be selling just meat. But the gods are going to start getting unhappy as well. But do I want to go into debt for this? Uh, warehouse? It costs 70? It'll cost... Okay, it'll put me in debt if I do that. I don't know if there's rescue funds. I don't know if there's rescue funds. <laughs> I have to be efficient. Nah! Nah, I'm done being efficient. I'm doing things. God's unhappy. Okay. I'm gonna have to... Deal with this. Uh... How do I do this? Okay. Let's just put one temple to each. Okay, there's some rescue funds. Okay, one temple each. That was, by the way, the all option, which cycles through the five temples so we can do that. The symbol is gifted a sub. Thank you so much, the symbol. All right, we're manufacturing weapons, so we are going to need a warehouse right here. Warehouses also can be rotated, by the way. Uh, and by default, they're accepting nothing, so let's accept weapons into there. First fish is coming in, it's being fed. Very nice. Uh, what is our... See, 14% unemployment with 23. So I should... Can I afford? Boost up... Another iron mine. Another couple weapons workshops. Okay, good. Oh. Runaway priest. Yeah, one spawning on this side. Greetings. <laughs> this city urgently needs more food. That's fine. We're in debt, by the way, because we're feeding our people. Ugh. Oh, we're feeding our people. 
<laughs> Alright, we gotta stock up on some weapons here so we can actually make some money. Uh, let's keep the game running. Okay. Oh, uh, one thing it mentioned in the documents, you can now put water on high ground. Which I think is demonstrated somewhere here. Um, before you couldn't, like this is water on technically high ground. I don't know how it worked before, but you can. Ooh, look at that. We got to put, can we put a lighthouse up here? I think we can. That's where the lighthouse has to go. But I'm not sure how it worked before. Like this, this looks like something that couldn't be done before, right? Okay, we're, we're, we're broke, we're broke, we're pod. We pod. Uh, starting to get some weapons in. Right, once we got a few units of weapons, I'll open the trade route. Come on, move in. Uh, we've got plenty of unemployment, we just don't have money. Right. I've rebound all of my... That's running a little bit high. Guess it's okay. I've rebound all my filters. Uh, okay, 500 people. Some weapons coming in. I think this is good. We are in debt, so I should actually go ahead and just really boost up. Can I make this work? Something blocking. Sobra tribute of 500. Thank you so much. I think I can do this. Very kind of you. And Ringo Star remains a Zacolite. If I put the iron thing there, have this there, and I roadblock that off, that's fine. This still functions, right? It's covered by that. And then I can go to workshop, weapons, really push up weapons manufacturing. Right. Are these almost done? 77%, 82%. So now I want to open the trade route. Pay to open trade route. Let's go ahead and start exporting over zero. Prices are 250 each. Okay, so weapons are still good. Uh, does anyone else buy weapons? Yes, Capua. We can already sell 25, and we're going to need some for soldiers anyway. Oh, okay. Guys, thank you so much. Tempestry for following, Ringo Star for subbing. Caesar Zack, yes. General Snig following, Ringo Star. Uh, and the tributes. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Okay, we don't have enough food to feed everyone. Oh, putting that roadblock does apparently stop the granary from working. So we can't just have roadblocks on both entrances. Okay, fine. Let's keep the, the fish coming in. These won't... Right, they need entertainment. Uh, but I think we just need uh, money first. Oh, they also changed so that on desert maps, these uh, caravans use camels. No, I love coming here. Business is going very well. Okay, okay. Uh, can we make our money back relatively quickly? We're producing quite a lot of weapons, but... 85%, 42 percent 37 85%, 0%. They're all functioning, but... We've only got four units right now. Which doesn't get us out of debt. Uh, oh, we've got two more. That should save us, right? There we go. Resets the debt anniversary. Buys us time to do things. Um, what should we be doing? Uh, I can expand my food production by putting down another fishing... Oh, right. Forgot about doctors. Gonna need a doctor. Uh, how's our unemployment? Oh, still plenty. We didn't need those people anyway. Let's put down another fishing wharf here. Yeah, that puts us in debt. No problem. 
We'll keep this going. Try to boost up our food a little bit. We can fish on this side as well. No threats of invasion just yet, but... Oh, setting up a clay industry. Clay pit. Uh, we, can, we can fit it. So if I set this for some special orders, let's set this to holding 16. And then we can hold pottery here as well. Eight. Just hold a little bit of pottery there. So we can go raw material, clay pit, workshop, pottery. Zaran, thank you so much for initiating uh, MS TVD. Right here, good. Let's get rid of this rubble. Uh, instead of placing more houses, let me just pop down a theater. So that will provide entertainment. Okay. The way this coast is, is designed, it is very unique. A lot of the coast is just cliffed up, so you actually can't fish that much. It's mainly here, there's like a little bit down here, but this seems like threatening landscape for invasions. We can fish over here, but like a little bit here. A lot of this is cliffed up. The Pharaoh remake could use global workforce too. I think they confirmed that it would be an option in the Pharaoh remake. Is our ability needs schools to evolve further but we don't have enough food to support anymore traders coming back please buy lots of weapons okay uh one thing does anyone know which side trade is for sea trade is it this side is it the eastern side or the western side because there's no um there's no flotsam right I don't think there's any flotsam. Can you rotate buildings? You can rotate some buildings. Liz said east? Okay, good to know. Sea trade on this side, so we're gonna have a dock over here somewhere. Alright, we got tons of money. Uh, we should start building um, some military. Uh, I should also set trade for pottery. We can start exporting when it is over four units and allow this to hold 16. Right, so we'll start selling any surplus pottery. Good. Um, training military... I think I want it here. Not on the farmland, but like around here. So we a bit of space here. Let's go fort... Legionnaires. These can be rotated. Handy, yeah? <laughs> uh, like just having a fort here. Or here. I think here's a little bit better. It'll be outside the walls. And we know invasions are going to be coming. I must first build a supply post to feed your soldiers. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, in that case, maybe we need to get a second type of food. Uh, let's get wheat. And I'm setting this to 12-12. Right, I can then extend this road over. Let's road... not that. Let's roadblock here. And get some farm set up in this area. Farm, wheat. That's the furthest we can build. Let's try and maximize what we got. 24 months for a request of marble? Okay. Jonathan-san, thank you so much for the prime sub. Decrease trading, Taraco. A lower price of pottery. Oh, okay. 15 units. And lower price for pottery, huh? Okay. Let's get... I'm gonna try maximize this Let's 
six wheat farms. Uh, we just have to have prefecture, engineer's post. All right, this will allow us to feed our troops as well and feed our people. Uh, might as Oh, all these houses were fed with fish. So fish is going to be stocking up pretty soon, right? How's our employment? 43. So I need to have a supply post. But I do also want to make sure we can wall off right here. So the farms are on the outside. So the supply post should not be here. I guess I can just put the supply post... Uh, that's a bit weird. Where do I put the supply post? It should be near the granaries, right? So I think what I do... Is I have the supply post over... Here. Change this road to do that. Have the... Firehouse and Engineers post like that. Let me go ahead and clear these two. We can roadblock here instead. And I'm going to keep that roadblock there and I'm going to gatehouse... What are those? Are those? Oh, that was the food being collected. Did you see that? The supply post is now taking food. How's a soldier supposed to fight without food? Where does this voice line come from? Is this from the game? After a hard day's How's a soldier supposed to fight without food? Blooded clay pit, but it's just rebuilt. Is that is that voice line from the original game? Gatehouse. So I want to have a gatehouse. To block this. And to block that. Let's make sure we don't have these roads. Never heard him say anything. Sentry had unused voice lines. Oh. Okay, so now we got food. Look at this new building. Entirely new building. Look at it. Animated and everything. What is that sound effect when you click on it? What is that? Don't need gatehouses anymore with roadblock. I want to wall it off because invasions come from here. So I just want the farms to be outside the city walls. What is that sound effect? Granary? It's not granary. Sanders Market? No, no, it's different. Unused market sound? Wharf? No, no, it's different. Unused, wow. Uh, delete the gatehouse roads. Oh, yes, thank you. And they don't respawn now either. Okay, now let's build our first fort, Legionnaires. Let us rotate the fort so it can face here. I can now have our first fort. Iron mine caves in. It's okay. First fort right there. And then we need to put down the barracks, which can be near our weapons manufacturing. Let's not be super efficient with things. And I probably also want a military academy. Can I just pop this behind here? Iron mine caves in again. Uh, I'll go into debt to do this, but I think that's fine. I just want this running. Yep. We'll just road up here. And we can have... Firehouse Engineer's Post roadblock. Oh. It's such a streamlined experience. Save, thank you. I, I did turn on monthly autosaves, but... What's this map called again? I don't know. 
Augustus 2. A. Because I think this is Augustus 2.0. You want those the walls between... Yeah, so do I, but I'm broke. I'm broke. Okay, we're starting to get soldiers. Look at this. There's a highlight when you mouse over. And also, when you click on them, check this bar. Look at that. Brigantium, that's it. Thank you, Lizarin, who made this map. Right? Look at that. Also check, food status well fed. Plentiful food is boosting morale. Decrease trading in Taraka. Okay. Oh. Nice UI bonus, right? Also selecting them becomes much clearer with a highlight. And you can identify which soldiers belong to which fort. Square formation only with academy. Yeah, the square for the um, it's called column formation. And you can return to fort, go to legion. You can return to fort, empire service, all right here. Twelve olives. Okay. Uh, since providing two types of food here will be easy, I can select wheat to go there. Uh, we're currently totally broke. Uh, so I think I'm going to mothball the barracks. Priority tower, fort, priority tower. Yes, you can prioritize whether the barracks trains units for forts or supplies uh, units to towers. But I'm going to mothball the barracks so we stop using weapons so I can get out of debt. Because mothballing things is really good. Not good. Uh, so we need marble and olives. Six marble, twelve olives. I'm gonna reset our debt an anniversary first. Local uprising already? <laughs> oh, okay. So this is an uh, invasion map. This is a local uprising map. We're we gonna die. Go to problem area. Yep. 12 fruits? Okay, that, that's a lot of... How many? I think we can handle that. Oh, there's no opening here. I should actually create an opening. There we go. Okay, not too big of an invasion. I got troops just in time. Are we stocking up on weapons? Yes, please sell. Oh, that's nice. You can just pick the formation like that. Oh, the sheep are dying. Look at this. Dead. No, no! He got through. Kill, kill the native, not the sheep. Stop killing the sheep. Okay, got him. <laughs> uh, return to fort. We killed more. Sh no, no. Return to fort. Okay, lower price. <laughs> One sheep remains of this flock. The rest are all hiding over here. <laughs> yeah, they're speedy, right? So be careful. Um. Did we max out weapon sales already? Oh, right. But there's a missing shield on this weapons. We got reduced weapons trading. Is this now zero weapons? Is that what that means? That doesn't happen in the campaign, but I assume that what, that's what that means. Uh, so we got to boost up our other exports. Pottery? It's November. Okay, so we need another clay pit. And two more pottery workshops. Okay. Uh, employees needed, really. Oh, so how's our favor? 31? Alright. Um, 
well, when next year trading starts, we should be fine. So let's just set up the other things we need. Uh, I need to start storing the other resources. Where do I put it? Where's a good spot? Over here? I can have a warehouse set up right here, which is going to be holding the other things we need, which is what? Marble, eight, uh, olives, 16, and what? Fruit, 12. Fruit, gotta be 16, okay. Firehouse, engineer's post, raw material, marble quarry. Is this not rocky areas? Oh, this is not rocky areas. I didn't realize. These are rocky areas. Okay. How do I do this? Without busting everything open. I can have it there. Road. There. Okay. Okay, Matya, thank you for remaining a Zacolite. Um, so we will also... Oh, look, we got all the money back. We also need a fruit farm. Uh, I'm going to chop down these trees. And I feel much more comfortable chopping down trees because I can plant trees. Uh, I'm going to put farm, fruit, uh, farm, olives. Okay, and we got money. So just for aesthetic reasons, I know people have been really wanting this to happen. We're gonna wall between these. And also up to this cliff. And over this way. Okay. So this is now stuff outside the city. This is stuff inside the city. Lower price again? Jeez. Weapons get really nerfed, huh? Let's unmothball the barracks. Uh, we should probably evolve these houses. Desirability. Let's plaza our main housing block. And then they need a school, I think. Blooded clay pit. Back into debt, no problem. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna start stocking up on these things. Are we gonna hit them four months for the marble? Oh, jeez. Oh, we're severely understaffed. Okay, we're actually gonna be late on the marble one. 16 months, 15 months, okay. I'll just be late on the marble. Let's evolve these houses, get more people in. We have pottery, so this market can actually sell pottery. That fat lady up front told me to carry this and follow her. Okay, nice. With all these new features, doesn't this just look... What? Oh. A money request, 750 denarii, 12 months to comply. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> like, you never see that one in, in the default campaign. Oh, we have so much food. We're actually overproducing food. This granary is actually filled with two types of food. Don't remember the market leveling up? Uh, that, that did happen, that did happen. Okay, lots of people moving in. So we can evolve these houses even more. I'm going to be having a building here. We reached a thousand people. The gods are going to start feeling unhappy. I think I really need to boost marble. Rome pays... Rome pays less wages. Is it less or is it fewer? 
But I'm not taxing. I always forget taxes. Farm. In that corner. And then let's tax. Rome pays less wages. Why does that sound wrong? <laughs> Is it wrong? Maybe it's not wrong. Maybe it's just me. Imperial reminder. Yeah, the olives. They're coming in slowly. Did all these houses fill up? They did. We need more people. Yeah, that's good. Actually, no. I can put a statue there or something. Bathhouse. Right. Let's throw down baths right here. Yeah, Emperor's Anger. Yep, okay. A little bit of marbles coming in. The gods are going to be unhappy too. Um, which means we do need like a lot more marble. Effect. I don't think these are too far. And I can gatehouse this, right? Okay, we have a full fort of soldiers as well. Morale perfect with well fed. Uh, does it show that they just have two types of food, right? What's it to say? The varied diet of your soldiers greatly increases morale. Fish and wheat. We got lots of fish pies, I think. Contaminated water, that's okay. We got bathhouses. They now need more entertainment. But this should solve our. Yeah, we just shot three employees now. Some cry. Okay. When we get a lot more money, I can't wait to decorate all this. Um, in terms of sea trade routes or land trade routes, we can sell more pottery. Oh, there's an invasion on the way. Okay. If I open this trade route, I can sell even more pottery. and mine caves in. Okay. Gotta really boost up pottery production, I think. Because we've lost our... Can I fit this? Yeah, if I get rid of that. Raw material, clay pit. We have... Clay pit there. Workshop. Pottery. Do I want that? No. I think I'll leave that open. Just put down two pottery workshops like that. Because we just can't sell the weapons anymore. Our primary source of income. Oh, it's a new year. Just turned January. Okay. What's the price of weapons right now? 140. Okay. We have a full fort. Collapsed building. Oh, right. Okay. Forgot about that. Farm fruits. Okay, we have four marble, five marble. Okay, six marble. I'll send that off and I can start building some oracles. <laughs> Rookie mistake. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going through my filters enough. How's our employment? 7% unemployment. Taxes, earning a bit of money. 500, yep. Yeah. People love me? Let's raise taxes. Turn love to money. We're so broke. I got so used to selling weapons, now we can't sell weapons. Hmm. 
Oh, these weapons have... Let's drop weapons to holding eight. See, the weapons have split up, so not enough pottery can get in there. Okay, how's our... Favor is 16. That's really bad. <laughs> That's really bad. We gotta get out of debt. We've been in debt for so long. Is it wages that's killing us? What's... Uh, go to Empire. What else can we trade right now? Furniture. Could set up a furniture industry. Once we're out of debt. Yes, good. Enemies closing. Let me go ahead and put raw materials, timber yard. Let's set this up. Firehouse, engineer's post, workshop, furniture. that local uprising over here imperial dispatch ready we can dispatch the marble one month to comply i can't fulfill the money request timber 16 months i forgot about the money request all right you guys need to go block these guys yeah. go right there A warehouse down. This is going to be holding. How much timber did they want? 16. And timber. Which means I do actually need more timber yards. These need an amphitheater to evolve. Okay. Export all of that. Good. Good. All right. This map is actually very hard. This map is very hard. H for Havoc subbed with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. I don't want to kill all these sheep, but I think they're going to do it. <laughs> Alright, I think they're going to come through these steps, so I'll just defend this chokehold. Oh, there's one sneaking around. Landslides. Oh no. Emperor's gratitude. Emperor's anger. Alright, how angry is he? 14. That's bad. That's bad. I think we'll be able to get the others. The gods are unhappy. Went back into debt. No, no. Okay, engage. Okay, let's... Make sure we cover all... Okay, they died. Okay, return to fort. Blooded clay pit. Mercury is upset. Spirited away granaries. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's falling apart. We're gonna miss the olives. Jeez, really? Because we're short on employees? By 51? Wow, okay. I, I really misjudged how this was gonna go. Out of debt, we need gladiators to evolve these houses. I know, I know. Um, oh, I do have personal savings. Let's... Let's send a gift. Cheetahs and giraffes. Dispatch. My salary is eight. My salary can be five. That buys us some favor. Okay. 
Jeez. Imperial dispatch ready. The fruits. We can dispatch that. We're short on the olives. Yep. Okay. I can't deal with an invasion from the Emperor. Uh, I can build an oracle. To try and keep the gods slightly happier. Okay. This is... Yeah, we're maxing weapons manufacturing. So I think I can actually... Venus is upset. I cut back on weapons manufacturing. Clear this. Okay. So I can boost up pottery production even more. Uh, we also need an actor colony. Destroys my crops, okay. These minor curses, not so bad. And the olives. Okay, there's plenty of time on those requests. I think Caesar invasions start happening when it's below 10, right? Okay, almost out of debt again. Blooded clay pit. Impress gratitude. Is it actually much gratitude? A little bit. Oh, we sold some furniture? Yes. No, I love coming here. Business is going very well. Okay. Furniture can start going out. Timber can start stockpiling. I'm gonna keep stockpiling this stuff. Eleven olives. This is surprisingly stressful. There's only so much that we can do. Um, oh, this can be mothballed. Right. We don't need that anymore. With a few extra workers. I'm gonna throw down another oracle right... <laughs> Fine. I don't want more god curses. Let's throw down another oracle. Are all please. Oh, there's the new sun symbol for the chance of a blessing. Okay, we're producing furniture, gladiators and stuff. Life going is out. All right, isn't it? Marble trickling in. So that does start selling all the stuff here. We can sell more pottery. If I move this, raw material clay pit can go. This dispatch is ready. Dispatch that. I can put another clay pit there and put two more pottery workshops. Oh. Yonder, thank you so much for remaining as acolyte. Oh. And a little bit of a raid. Uh, I don't know if I can actually hold off an invasion with this force I've got, but I'm gonna have to try. This separation of goods is a bit annoying. See how the furniture? Threes here, ones here. I'm not sure if that can be fixed. The way it behaves is a little weird. Like this, I should actually set these all to just holding eight of each, I think. 
Fruit comes in much faster than olives. Uh, food is still more than enough. Employment shot by 16. That's fine. Flooded clay pit. That was the invasion at our doorstep. Okay, we've got a decent amount of money again, so I should probably solve that first before I forget. Okay, I can also go ahead and put a statue. The goddess statue right there. Look at that. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Something new. Rome pays fewer wages. Empress Gratitude, okay. This is down to 25. People are pleased with me, so 9% taxes yielding 1,500. That does work out quite nicely. We can plan for another fort. It is May. How's our trade? Okay, we maxed weapons, but we need... Okay. So I can go ahead and put down another legionnaire fort. <laughs> It'd be all rotated and stuff. Ooh, this, this could be... Yeah, that's nice. Let's put another legion fort. Yeah, we leave the barracks functioning. Okay. Local uprising. Wow, Lizaran, you you wrecked <laughs> weapons on this map, huh? Okay, let's go meet them here. Started out as the best export, but it's just terrible now. Should be able to catch them all here. Down to 22. Oh. Emperor's gratitude for the money. Charge straight into me. There we go. They're pretty strong being well fed, huh? Two of those forts should be able to hold off quite a bit. Uh, we're short 10 employees. Uh, we could start providing... Do I have enough timber? Almost. I can start providing furniture, I think. So if I set this to export when it's over four... A good day. And this market can start buying furniture to evolve these houses. This is coming through. All right. All the weapons we're manufacturing can go into this new fort since we've maxed out sales anyway. 13 timber. The request is for 16 timber. That's stocking up. How are the gods feeling? Where is the sun icon from? Did you guys design it? How do I set up an oil industry? I think it's got to be here, right? But I don't want to be wasting farm space. But then again, food right now is fine. Any other farmland? This guy reaching the natives? <laughs> Almost. Uh, oh, there's a little bit of farmland here. Iron Mines cave in. Alright, I'm getting a nice stock of money now. If I pacify the natives, they will start trading with me, but I don't know if we have... 16 timber. Let's dispatch that and set this to only holding 
8 timber. Uh, let's do a decoration I've been wanting to do. Uh, pine trees? Maybe something different. Uh, trees... What looks nice? This is the fir tree. This... Maybe the oak tree. Uh, elm tree? That's a nice one. Uh, fig tree? Okay. That's... Plum tree? Um, date tree? Oh, date tree is that. Okay. Uh, I think I want the elm tree. Yeah. And I want... Can I make this look natural or do I just want a row of elm trees like this? These don't rotate, I think. Just have a row of elm trees right there. <laughs> nice, right? We can actually start decorating in different ways. Okay. Uh, so now I think I want to set up an oil industry. So what we can do is I can set this to holding. This is 888. If I set this to accepting 8 oil, I can set up some oil workshops. But also keep a second olive farm going, just so we get some oil in, enough to supply this housing block. The city needs more workers, right? These need a library. Okay. Uh, we're short by 20 employees. Maybe the library takes up another 20, 40 employees. All right, so we need to evolve these houses again. Uh, I can... Statues. Obelisk. Let's put an obelisk down. That'd be nice, right? It's no good central spot for it, but I can, for example, do obelisk there, obelisk there. So we got two obelisks, or does that look weird? How do we make this look nice? I can just have a large statue. Nice standard large statue right there. Uh, but the other decorations can be parks, a large pond. Ooh. Right there. Oh, does the pond need water? Landslides. The pond needs water? <laughs> right, okay. Um, it makes sense, yes. Uh, if I do put a large pond here, it has water in it. Okay. I think our water... Yeah, the water supply doesn't quite reach over there. Okay. So we... Oh, a first invasion. Enemies of Rome are at the outskirts of your city. Where? Here. Okay. Uh... These are new units. What are these guys? I should go engage them immediately. Are those new units? Spanish natives? Iberian? Oh, it's a small invasion. Okay. I, w I was worried far too much. Okay. Uh, oil's coming in so we can now supply oil. Um, I think I'm starting to stress this market a little bit too much. There are too many temples here. So I think I need to put another market if I just move Neptune small temple Neptune to somewhere else just anywhere else uh, I actually don't have a lot of space available 
Yeah, just there's fine. So I get rid of this Neptune Temple. I can put down another market here. Set this one dedicated to furniture and oil. So I can turn off furniture and oil from here. Good. Okay, now we're starting to get some money, so I do want to continue decorating. Uh, pine tree. Yeah, we can do one of those. Uh, what other decorations? I do want an obelisk. The fountain there. I think I want to set the obelisk over there. And then I can continue the trees of the pine trees around the obelisk. A thousand denarii. Okay, I can actually afford it. Okay, nice. <laughs> I'm just I'm just messing around with these things. Um we can do Ooh, colored pavilions. We can do like Blue Pavilion? And then we can actually just throw down maybe some normal gardens. Ah, oh, doesn't this just allow for so much more diversity? Right click the obelisk. A prestigious monument, the work of an ancient king of the Nile. The Egyptians weren't using it. <laughs> Yeah, sounds like Rome. Sounds like Rome. Uh, when when I was in Italy, they were actually explaining how to appear luxurious, and basically it was about the number of different types of marble. And they were like, "Oh, so the more types of marble you have, the more luxurious your building or structure, right?" So. Uh, from Egypt, there were all kinds of marbles. There were like pink marbles, red marbles, black marbles. So if you go to the Vatican, you can see like the floor designs. It's all these different colored marbles creating these mosaics and patterns and designs. So the more, the, the more colors you have, the richer you are, basically. Um, and yes, they just went around the world stealing marble from everything. <laughs> uh, trees. Uh, I think I wanted maybe a couple of fir trees right there. That looks good. Let's go for maybe... Uh, how do I want to make this look? If I maybe alternate the fir trees around the granary. To do that. And then I can pick... I just want a garden around? No, that feels boring. Let's not garden around. Let's go to maybe a different type of tree. Plum tree? Nah. Uh, let's mix it with oak trees. There we go. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> Zoom in on the trees and pavilions. Look at, look at these trees and stuff. Look at these little gazebos. And the obelisk. Finally, gardens look good. Date tree for exoticism. It's the, the desert trees. Okay, so wait. I've provided... Oh, no barber access. Right. Um... I do need to make room for a bar. I want that row of trees there, so I'm actually going to delete a house for this. Let's just pop the barber right here. Health, barber. Good. And that should evolve these houses, yes? Uh, we, we're providing two types of food, so they should be able to get to Grand Insula, right? Oh, not enough entertainment. Um, that means they need a... Uh, Colosseum. A little tricky providing that. 
perhaps I place the Colosseum somewhere outside the city. You know, there's, I've seen some really nice decorations for how people do things. I, I think I can try create a little bit of a thing. Because I've seen people do some fancy stuff. So if I wanted to... 16 marble? Jeez. Which reminds me, I should place down an oracle. Let's just use this as a bit of a entrance way so i can do this and i can road here and then we can actually get a big plaza right there nice okay um we need more storage for marble lower price of oil okay uh if i Set maybe a separate warehouse here. Set for... Oh, I should actually rotate this warehouse. Right? Because I want it to reach there. So it's a little bit better. Uh, set this to accepting marble. So I turn this off from accepting marble. Okay. Okay. Uh, then I wanted to... How's our employment? We're short. You know, it's fine. Coliseum. Can I make this look good? Oh, it doesn't actually work if I do this. Can I make this look better? If I maybe place something like this, and then I move this, maybe transfer, transform this. Oh, okay, so this is one off, so I want this to be like there. And then I can have two roads going up like that. And then I can plaza like this. Oh wait, no, that's not what I want. That doesn't work. I do want to do this. Plaza like that. Uh, then maybe I can do something like this instead. Plaza like you. Eh, that doesn't work either. There's no way to get that looking nice, is there? Uh, I should be careful of this. Firehouse, engineer's post, just in case. Trees. Play pit, okay. Trees. Bird trees. We've got a working one of those. We can line this with trees. We can actually have a little bit of a thing. Uh, then... How do I want to do this? I can, for example, do something like this if I roadblock there. I've never, I've never done this. I've never done this. This is all new. This sort of decoration sort of thing. Plaza. Do this roadblock here. Okay. And have this go around the back as well. Plaza all the way around. Oh, that's annoying. Maybe just where we can see it. <laughs> okay. Oh, we can still see that. Okay. Uh, if I were to do this, it doesn't... Uh, 
break that. There. No one knows. <laughs> we have a functioning Colosseum. The new roads overlay. Right, there is a new roads overlay. There is also a levies overlay because certain things cost monthly money. Um, this is what's been eating some of our money. There's monthly costs. This actually does make the game harder. Um, towers and certain things have monthly levies. 10 denarii for the legions each. And then there's four for temples, four for oracles. So you can't just spam things without consequences. Okay, uh, so we have that, which now means we can have a lion house right here, and maybe a lion house over here. Two lion houses should then cover the entire block to allow us to get Grand Insula. Because they have two types of food, yeah. Look at this, we're just doing things that was never possible before. Ah, there is water up on this high ground, so I can go ahead and maybe pop a reservoir right here. So that I can bring a reservoir to here. How do I do this? Stick a reservoir behind. Like that. Send an aqueduct through. Nice. Natural. Good. And then I can put... A couple small ponds. To decorate in front. Yes. There we go. Grand Insula. A local uprising. Oh, there's a request for weapons. Okay. Let's deal with the local uprising. It's pretty big this time. The reservoir looks like a baby coliseum. Yeah. Uh, some weird evolution for the Grand Intel southern side. Okay, then, let me just deal with this. Motion sense, thank you so much. Um, oh, this just evolved to the back. Yeah, that's, that's fine. It went behind the barber shop. You know, that's fine. I need the population anyway. So I can actually start planning a second housing area now. I can get rid of one timber yard. So I have everything to set up another Grand Insula block. This granary should be able to support more. I just need a road extending out here. Road blocked here. Right? Yeah. Uh, I should stop selling weapons. Weapons, stop trading. Increase trading of furniture, okay. Alright, this is all looking quite nice. And we're actually rich. So, target population is seven, seven and a half thousand. <laughs> that's actually huge. Uh, I think we can start working on a monument though. I think that's what we need to do now. Um, so let me set up another housing block. I'm just going to clear off 
this area here. This is all going to be another housing block. Okay, leave some trees to look natural. The ones I like. Uh, we just send a road over here. Imperial dispatch ready. Fantastic. Dispatch that. Uh, let's set up another thing. road we can have lovely block like that road blocked here where's this fire marshal from here oh i see i think uh this road can connect up to here but probably should roadblock right there. Uh, should probably roadblock here, actually. So that drives that up that way. So if I get now, I can get rid of these two, and this firehouse should still be covering the Coliseum. Yes, good. Let's get some houses. Let's go firehouse engineer's post, barber, doctor, multiple roadblocks so there's no spawning there. Let's pop a market here. This is going to be buying pottery, not furniture or oil, meat, wheat, okay, uh, we can go ahead and just roadblock this as well to have another market right here dedicated to furniture and oil. We are producing enough oil. Let me go ahead and put down statues, obelisks, two lovely obelisks like that. I can transfer a series temple there so I can get rid of this and instead can I get water down here? Not really. Well maybe if I put a reservoir there. What food are we short of? Oh nothing. Uh, I should just go ahead and put down fountain, fountain. Lots of fountains. Okay. I <laughs> forgot the fountain for a minute there. Make sure we plaza this road. Uh, what else do they need? They need... Some space. Some space. We need... Baths. We need... A theater. We're gonna need... A library. We're gonna need... A school, and we're gonna need an amphitheater. That's all, right? I think that's all. I can go for. Let's not put another pond. Pine trees. Elm trees. Fir trees. Okay. Good. 
That should bring in enough people to supply our monument construction, which we have to do today, right? Let's plaza this. We have to do monument construction. Good supply of furniture. We should have plenty of furniture. Oil's good. Yeah, marble's stocking back up as well. 2,000 people. Wonderful. Senate. Yeah, there's not much point to build a Senate, but I guess I can. Where should I build the Senate? I could stick it over here. Wrap it around. Like that. Can I double this road? With all stone looking, uh, I can roadblock there, so the firehouse should. Yeah, firehouse and engineer's post should cover that. Line this with pine trees. don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just doing a thing. Oracle. We have a Senate. Ah, no, that looks weird. That looks weird. I'm gonna probably come back to that. <laughs> that, <laughs> that looks a little bit... That looks... Uh... Not quite what I was going for. Uh, right, this needs more Colosseum entertainment. Um, but this is a problem. If I build a lion house, like here, that won't cover everything. It'll cover some, I guess. Uh, let me just see which way the lion goes. That side. <laughs> Have another reservoir here. Just bring in more people. Okay, we have plenty of unemployment. What's going on here? Ran out of pottery. Oh. I guess this should focus on food. We are actually shot on fishing as well. Fishing... Uh, fish, rather. So let me go ahead and boost that up a little bit. Create some space here. Let's go ahead and put uh, shipyard. Go on the far side. Uh, let me go wharf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Let's stabilize our fish supply. Okay, do we want to roadblock there? Uh, 
Uh, the mood's dropping, so we should probably drop taxes a little bit. Warehouse engineer's post. Good. Okay, that'll boost up fish production. That's because our unemployment went much higher. And now we can build our first monument, which I think I want to just sort of throw it out into these areas here. Like here. I want a monument right here. Uh, there's some space there. Let's have a look at the first... Uh, what what should we build first? Uh, no, this one. Grand Temple. The Pantheon? Ceres, Neptune, Mercury, Mars, Venus? Probably the Pantheon first, right? We should do that. Let's pop a Pantheon down. Jeez, it's so expensive. How much was it? I didn't even look at the price. 3,500. Jeez. Okay. That's fine. We'll make the money back. Monuments don't catch fire, right? Do monuments catch fire? Looks like a Greek temple from Zeus, yeah. Lighthouse is the cheapest. Uh, tax the new block, thank you. Uh, four. Forgot about that. Okay, fishing is ongoing on this new side. We have 13% unemployment. People are indifferent. We gotta drop taxes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the game is just so different now. It's so crazy. What was that? Imperial Reminder. 16 weapons. Oh, we don't even have storage space for the weapons. Silly me. gonna need more farms maybe a couple more wheat farms as we are expanding yeah this Senate's weird I'm gonna have to move that okay uh, we need to get our money back Workshop furniture. Produce a bit more furniture. I never opened this other trade route, which buys pottery as well. I should... You know, I shouldn't open a trade route. I should... Um, well, are there no missionaries on this map? Well, there's no missionaries on this map. Copernicus, thank you so much. Oh, we're under attack. 32 fruit. Okay. Uh, 32 fruit. We need a warehouse just for fruit. Our soldiers can still go around this way. Did I just get enough weapons? Yes, let's dispatch those. Alright, it's a bigger invasion. We're gonna try hold them off here. Squandered funds. There go the sheep. There's 
here. They're gonna start shooting us. The sheep are gonna have to die. This guy's sneaking around. Emperor's Gratitude. Okay. Engage these guys. You guys take the higher ground. You guys charge in. Okay, I think we got him. Good. Alright, not too difficult. Not too difficult. 33 months to comply. Okay, we should be fine with that. Food supply has come back up. We're struggling to feed this block. Uh, I need to... How do I do this? Uh, what does this thing need? Lots of marble, clay, and timber. Marble, clay, timber. Four olives. Okay. Uh, accept. Not accepting. We can store up some olives. Um, we're quite severely in debt again. are indifferent to you, okay. Trade? Can I support more? Right, I wanted to open this trade route so I can sell more pottery. Okay, okay. Sell weapons? Oh yes. I can resume selling weapons. Once we're out of debt, I can send another gift. Good. Uh, yeah, I need to get this going. So it's marble first. Marble, timber, clay. Uh, we don't have a storage for clay. I can go ahead and warehouse engineer's post. Set a warehouse down to hold any surplus clay. And that should allow us to get uh, get everything we need. And I'll just throw down Spare clay bit. Okay, we're out of debt, so now we need to build a work camp and engineers guild. So work camp can go right here, and an engineers guild can go right here. So these are new buildings as well. I think the work camp doesn't have an animation. Laborers gather here to transport materials to construction sites, and engineers' guilds work tireless tirelessly to construct monuments for the glory of Rome. So this is the whole new monument mechanic, which we, we finally get to check out. It's expensive, though. And this map's pretty hard. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we can finally start storing up all this. Uh, so I think what I want to do is have this set to accepting maybe 16 clay and getting eight marble and getting eight timber. Maybe just accepting eight clay as well so there's some room to move things around. Okay, back into debt, no problem. Uh, I do want to start stocking up timber again so I'm gonna move this furniture workshop to here, replace a new timber 
timber yard. Right there. Okay, so that's more timber, more clay. Uh, there's no reason why I shouldn't be spamming this. We have too much unemployment. Another clay pit. Oh, it's just money, right? That's something that is a bit of a problem. Uh, sea trade. More pottery or wine? I can sell oil. When over four. So I can throw down another olive farm. And have another couple oil workshops. Okay. I like how the city has sort of turned out though. Oh nice, look at that, I just noticed. Monuments on the map are this sort of pink color. That's something I didn't consider would have to be a thing, <laughs> right? But what color are monuments going to be on the map? Oh, this can't keep up. Uh, you're going to have to buy the wheat. You're just buying... Well, wheat and meat, I guess. Yeah. We got all of these fishing things going. I can... No, we have unemployment, so I don't need to mothball anything. I'll just re-enable that. I didn't realize this map is not gonna have any missionaries. So that means these, these native huts and stuff are just totally off limits. We can't build around here. Okay, some marble has been carried over. Material, marble quarry, I can pop another one down. Uh, oh, look at these guys. Salutations! This city is quite well run. What voice is that? Greetings! This is an okay city, no beard. really. No hauler. Salutations! Foreman. This city is quite So it's well carrying run. four units of goods, I think. Oh, we're under attack. It's a patrician? Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. I should just charge straight in. That's quite a lot of them. Lower price of furniture. Okay. Oh, the new military controls are so nice. Okay, where were we? The 12, so this just deposits the marble that's been going in there. 16, we need 44 marble, which shouldn't be too much of an issue. Twenty furniture. Okay. Um, I think we need to. We're gonna roadblock that. We're gonna roadblock this. We're gonna roadblock here. So I can. Uh, what's the risks for natives here? Oh. Roadblocks don't count, huh? This is native. Okay. Right there. So I want firehouse engineer's post. We need to ramp up some furniture production. Let's go raw materials, timber yard. Workshop furniture. Okay. Uh, how am 
much furniture can I hold here? 16? It's asking for 20. So I need to make sure this can hold more. And this is no longer accepting. Some timber can go over there, but besides that we don't need anymore. Okay. Unemployment's back down to 1%, so people should be liking me. In terms of fruit and olives, it's all coming in here. It seems like the marble has all gone out. I think this can no longer... Just set this to no longer accepting marble. Just store up the olives and fruits there. Uh, I can now... Not accept, not accept. This is just accepting... 16 oil instead. Ah, oh, blessing from Venus. Nice. Blessing's looking good. Right, the Venus blessing has changed. So, Venus grants youthfulness, health, and happiness to your people, increasing the size of your working population. So, our unemployment went from 1% to 6%. <laughs> I don't know uh, exactly the age, but... Increases the age of the working population, does it say? actually a curse. <laughs> Venus is the worst. Venus is scary. Uh, it makes your people younger. Oh, it actually drops the average age of everyone by 10 years. Of the working age population or people older or everyone? What happens if you're nine years old? You just get snapped out of existence. <laughs> the wrath of Venus. Of retired people only, okay. <laughs> uh, it's three years if you are older than 25. Hardy Core said, I coded it. So it's three years if you're older than 25. Ten years if you're retirement age. It just makes people younger, huh? Wow, okay. That's cool. It just grants youthfulness. All right, um... Wow, we're really going through the marble. Does it say how much... It doesn't say how much wood and stuff. There's five construction phases here. Um, we're blasting through marble, though. Let's boost this up somehow. Wait, that's not... all a little... I can have more marble production there. It probably makes more sense to have a dedicated marble production over by this mountain. Right? Then there's already kind of an opening here. So if I go... Um, raw materials, marble quarry, I can go one, two... Three, four. Just have a road. Firehouse. Engineer's post. Road through here. Roadblock. Roadblock. Imperial Dispatch ready. Fantastic. Dispatch that. Open this. Warehouse. This is just for marble. Okay. We can manufacture marble over there. Okay. Clay and... Timber should be ready to go. Uh, population, we still got plenty. I've got room to put more houses in. Uh, if I wanted to get these all to... 1,500... Oh, we're actually rich again. Okay, I can dispatch that. Uh, if I move this school over to... Down here. I can go ahead and put another lion house right here. 
little awkward, but... We'll get these two Grand Insula. What's going on with these houses? One of entertainment. No. I don't know what's going on. Imperial Reminder, 32 fruit, okay. Me too. Let's send a gift. A golden chariot, go, okay. Blessing from Mercury. Mercury has blessed your industry, uncovering raw materials for your craftsmen. Right. Rather than putting random resources into things, it just gave, it completed one set. See how all these potters and stuff are all suddenly done? All the, the workshops and stuff suddenly just finish one and get an extra resource. Okay, I feel like I can expand my military again. Let's throw down another legionnaire fort. Like this, I guess. Fort Legionnaires. Just have another one. Get that going. Uh, yeah, a whole bunch of people moved out from these houses for some reason. Need supply of pottery. We just can't keep up with the food here. I think I need another market. So you are going to just get furniture. You are no longer going to get furniture. You're getting oil and wheat. You are going to get pottery and meat. That should divvy up the resources a bit here. Uh, okay, we don't quite have enough marble in here yet. If I don't get some food soon, thirty-five. Okay. I think they can. I'm not sure if they send it in fours. Okay, employment's still looking good. Like, food supply in the granary looks okay. Maybe one more wheat farm. This is a little inefficient, but... There's actually plenty of room. I've been thrown out of my home! <laughs> okay, okay. Um, for entertainment, do we have proper Colosseum access, everyone? What's going on here? Oh, it's walking out this way. It's not going down this way. I see. So those are not Grand Insula. It's fine, yes. Are we actually low on pottery? Oh. I see that's a problem. We need another pottery workshop. Pottery workshop. We're actually low on pottery. Imperial dispatch ready. The fruit. Let's dispatch that. We need a bit more furniture. Did that do it? Yes. Dispatch the furniture. Good. The city's go. This one seems okay. Okay. I think we've actually built a relatively decent city. No, what's going on here? I think the third market stabilized this block a little bit. The granary is still full. Okay, Pantheon has enough. Marble, I mean. 
Um, Laborers are constructing the podium that will elevate the temple and provide a solid foundation to weather the passage of time. So, laborers. A blessing from Mars, spirit to watch over your city, great. Um, how do I know that it is progressing? Now it's time for the engineers from the guild. Oh, this thing. There's no monument overlay, right? 3,000 people. The engineers from the guild. I don't know if they look any different. Oh, it's it's done a thing. Now it needs 44 marble and 16 wood. Jeez, it needs so much marble. I want to do this. I guess we're producing quite a bit of marble already, right? Rome pays more wages, up to 26. Taxes are 5%. People idolize me as a god. Let's raise taxes. 9%. A distant Roman city is threatened. It is defenseless. You're the only one that can help dispatch a relief force quickly. Average force. I can send to. Off they go. There they are. Enemy force. Threatening the Empire. Empress Gratitude. Gratitude. Great. I guess I can just prep for another Legionnaire Fort. Three percent unemployment. All right, look at this. Look at this monument. <laughs> It's actually going... It's so weird building monuments in Caesar 3. It's so strange. Oh, save the game, yes. It's so strange building a monument. Second work camp would be good to utilize second source of marble production. Right, so what I want to do then is to have this go here. I thought I deleted the, the monument. Is there a warning if you accidentally delete the monument? Uh, work camp, right there. There is a warning, okay, good. So here's a second work camp to help bring this marble over. They've brought some timber. Boost our timber production a little bit. Not being efficient with displacement or anything, just throwing things around. Uh, let's throw uh, statues. Senator statue. Let's throw some senator statues there. Okay, and then this row here, I want to go ahead and put blessing from Neptune. Smooth passage for them. Okay, trees. I think it's a row of elm trees I want to put. City's fleshing out a little bit. 8 out of 44 marble, really. Uh, 
I really gotta boost up marble production. So let me go ahead and expand this area over here. Let's go raw material, marble quarry. Okay. Engineer's post. Okay, that's a lot more marble. Oh, we're actually out of employees. Let's start going down some houses. Okay. All right. Whew. You like those circular outdoor pools? Yeah. I haven't put a large one, have I? Um, where can I put a large one? Statues? No, it's under... Parks? Large pond? 24 marble. Okay. Secret pond in the middle of nowhere. Now let's do a secret garden. Uh, trees? Pine trees? Set that there, and then we do... Plaza? Yes? No? Yes. Secret Garden. <laughs> Would it be possible to build your own stairs up the cliffs or mod something like that in? I suppose you could, but it, it could get very messy if you could start messing with terrain like that. Rome pays less wages. Back down to 22. They are military. Backup military is going well. Monuments are such a massive undertaking. I didn't realize they would be this... this heavy. So this is phase two out of five. It takes so much marble. Maybe I can figure out the Senate. I think it takes 30 employees. Need a fountain here. How do I make this look good? It actually shows we're short by 48. You know? Gonna clear it for now. Disease. Did I not put a doctor here? No. Here? Why? Why suddenly disease? Why disease? The request for marble, I might just ignore it, I don't know. A favor is fine. Wages could actually be a little higher. What happened? least money-wise we're all set. This almost has enough marble. There's enough in the warehouse. I see two units on the way, which is just what we need. Okay, good. Suddenly outbreak of disease. I'm not sure what causes that. Fourteen wine. Okay. We've not been producing any wine. Um, 
I've been approaching this farmland here. Can I use this? No bridge. Look at that bridge. <laughs> I can use this farmland. Post, road, no, road block, road, road. Okay, let me check the risk here. Okay, it's nothing here. I can just go farm, vines. Who's dying? can have a little bit of a wine manufacturing and storage. Accepting workshop wine. I'll split this between wine and vines just in case there's a request. 16, 16. Okay. Uh, Firehouse Engineer's Post. There we go. A little bit of a destination. Vineyard. City needs more workers. Yeah. How's our 76 employees? All these houses. Yeah. Okay. I should probably do a little bit of a housing area here, but food. We're going to need another granary, I think. Resume mothballing these two. Local uprising. Uh, uh. I'm sure, there. These two are new. Right, more forts does take more. Um, Food to supply. Got to keep that in mind. Also, I've been wanting to put a gatehouse here. Just so they can't... Oh right, the Mars Blessing. <laughs> Lower price, Spirit of Mars, okay. We have 13,000 in the bank. Money problems are solved. Population problems, not as much. If I wanted to build a little bit of a thing here. Go ahead and clear some space. this into a little bit of a just the granary as far I think I need a getting granary over this side I can cut back on furniture production convert this into a granary path set this to not accepting, getting, getting. 12, 12. Okay, we'll move some food over this side. Warehouse engineer's post. Ooh. 
block all of this. Good. Markets. We need two markets, one set for food. One set for the other things. And I'll need to get some pottery over here. Get eight. Uh, we can connect a road over here. Road block, road block. Okay, that's going to be another little uh, housing area, I think. So the Colosseum looks more centralized. We can then just throw down another lions here. Which I don't know what path it'll take. Okay. Ah, whew. Pantheon has progressed. We're now on phase three. Uh, Cella. Okay, more timber, more marble. It's coming through. Okay, food. Distributing a little bit better. Okay. Pottery. I don't know if we're producing enough pottery. Got pottery. Workshop pottery. Relief force defeated the invading barbarians. Triumphal arch. Yes. Workshop pottery. I didn't centralize much of this at all, but oh well. <laughs> um, okay. uh, Triumphal Arch. Request for 2,000 denarii. Can dispatch that. Uh, I can put a triumphal arch leading up to this. This this will be very nice, won't it? I want it here or here? I think I want it one off. Good. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's gonna look fantastic. Look at this. The, the Pantheon's almost done as well, I think. Oh, this a phase was done. We're now four out of five. Presintum. Synctum. I don't know what these names are. 64 clay. Jeez, that's so much clay. Um, okay, there's some water source over here I can use, I think. Um, 64 clay. Accepting just clay. Then I can clear some of this. Raw material, clay paint. We actually have enough marble to dispatch that. Nice. Uh, our favor is more than enough, though. Uh, I 
I should go ahead and pop some houses down. Fir trees. They work well. They okay, will need a tool. Or temple to Mercury. Replace that with a house. Baths. Library. Should actually put the Mercury Temple here. Uh, barber. Doctor. Okay, that looks good. Yes. Let's get some extra houses down. Why why is this unstable? Furniture, oil. We just don't have enough pottery, huh? Can I import pottery? We can import clay. You know, with all the clay that we need, you might want to just import. What? Import all the clay you can get. Uh, pottery production is not enough. Yeah, these clay pits over here, it's a bit of a problem. Uh, no employment problems though, so I think we're okay. Some instability is fine. And our favor's at 100, which is great. out of wheat. Wheat. Okay. Oh, I didn't rotate that warehouse. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, fine. Uh, we got enough timber in. Marble is there. Um, it's just slowly trying to get the goods here, which is a problem. We imported a whole bunch of clay. Maybe I should get us another uh, work camp <clears throat> to get that going. Uh, set what to export pottery? Oh, right, I'm exporting too much pottery. That's probably the problem. Export over 16. Okay, a triumph of victorious soldiers march home proudly. All of your people bask in their glory and goodwill fills the city. Got enough wine to dispatch for that. Not that the dispatches are all that important anymore. There's our soldiers in diamond formation. Marble looks good. Uh, too little entertainment. Can I not put 
Oh, I see. Local uprising over this side. Look at all these people moving up. <laughs> these guys are here. Alright, fine. Short 56 employees. And these guys are super trained. Just charge in. Oh, that's a lot of them. Should probably grab the back up. Jeez, this uprising is big. Okay, we're gonna clash. Oh, come on! Just running all over the place. I'm trying to catch them as they... They straggle over, all over the place. Uh, I think I think we caught them. Rome pays less wages. Down by two. A lower price for Potter. Okay. These guys survived? Wow. Okay. Ooh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> Getting overconfident. The soldiers were strong enough. It's just they just run by. <laughs> Theatre has to be here. The amphitheater goes here. Okay. Right, importing more clay. Pottery looking a bit better, we're not selling so much. <laughs> 32 marble, okay, actually these. I should have them be oracles. There we go. Can I check if the enemies still destroy everything in their straightforward retreat path, or do they pathfind it out? I think they still destroy everything on the way out, right? And probably turn off clay import. Well, we need lots of clay, and I've got infinite money, so it's fine. A willow on oil? It's... Boost our oil production. Furniture is more than enough. Rome pays more wages. I should just start paying 8 over, right? 32. That allows me to tax more. Yeah, taxes do turn a profit versus wages. housing block worked out. I think I can have more houses there. Okay, we actually have some unemployment which is great. Actually, I can't get water over there, that's fine. Just have another oracle I guess. Good. Keep decorating. It's important. <laughs> All right. 
Look at this, I've never actually built a city with like a central coliseum and all of that. Right, it's not, it's not how the game works, but you know, we're gonna do it. This area just needs another market. We can't... Can we keep up with food supply here? Imperial dispatch ready. All right, we can dispatch that. Uh, these wheat farms are too far. I see. So I have to set this to getting 12. I'm going to need to move that olive farm so that I can put a granary. I can put a granary here uh, for accepting wheat. Just double up the firehouse engineer's post. Which means we're also gonna have to have another granary here. Doesn't have road access. Another granary here. Road access there. Set this to getting wheat. Dedicated. Uh, engineer's post is back up. Okay. <clears throat> Just to get more wheat in the system. Okay. okay. That should get a lot more wheat in the system. Yes. Uh, fish and meat. That might be a problem. Don't think our fish can keep up. start setting up a different source of food so for example I can set this to how do I do this uh, I take fish off of this now these two blocks are being fed wheat and fish this one is at the door. We're straining the system a little bit, yeah? Oh, this Pantheon's gonna get some work done. Everything seems to be working well here. Okay, okay. I've never actually watched it progress through a step. Nice. So the final phase, Dedicatio. It doesn't need any resources. It just needs an engineer. Are we gonna be done? Uh, we have unemployment. Can just grow more wheat farms around. So it just needs another engineer and we finish our first ever monument in Caesar 3. It's such a surreal experience. Oh, it needs a few, does it? All right, it doesn't say how many. Let's zoom out because we can do that now. <laughs> It looks kind of like a real city. Kind of. A bit messy. I just can't feed this block. I think I gotta take a house off. Grand Mines cave in. Okay. 
Um, I'm gonna just take off that house. Okay. Um, fine. I'm gonna take off that house. Okay. Now let's set this to buying wheat and meat. Let's try to get more food in this block. For some reason, it's very hard to feed. Uh, can I fit more fishing around here? Perhaps I should take meat off of... ...this area and have... ...just wheat. These getting stuck. Oh, I see. We need a second accepting granary here. Because when that fills up and they go start filling up something else, these end up walking all the way over here. Got it. This is... Still waiting for engineers? Maybe I can speed it up if I put down another engineer's guild right here. Price rise in vegetables. Do the engineers for this thing... Oh, it does show. Look at him. He's walking across the gardens. It does show on the, the damage... Um, thing. Filter. Overlay. Oh. Yeah, it just needs more engineers. I think if I get rid of this engineer's thing, it should speed up. Oh, did I just break? Oh, fine. This is much closer. It'll be much faster. much marble ended up here. Monument completed! The Pantheon is completed. It stands unrivaled as a monument to the awesome power of the gods and people of Rome. Look at this. Pantheon provides access to all gods. So it sends out a priest walker which provides access to all gods, I think holds annual festivals and reduces temple levies by 25%. Uh, though this itself has a uh, 48 denarii a month levies. Uh, the gates of heaven unfold. Jupiter summons all the gods to council in the common hall. Sublimely seated, he surveys from far the fields, the camp, the fortune of the war, and all the inferior world. From first to last, the sovereign senate in degrees are placed. Virgil the Aenid. Look at that. Look at that. So it actually sends out a, this place a walker that provides many all gods workers. access. Okay. And there is this bestow epithet on the temple. So this is a choice with all of the grand temples, all the monuments which is a choice, which is something that's, that's really nice. It's really nice, isn't it? It adds this whole gameplay thing. So for the Pantheon, we can bestow an epithet, permanently dedicate your temple to one, of, uh, one aspect of its deity, imbuing priests with divine powers. This will cost a thousand denarii. Pantheon Ara Maxima, all the temples in the city send priests to the Pantheon, spreading the faith and blessings of the gods, or Pantheon Roma Eterna, Houses with access to the Pantheon can evolve one additional step. Right, and it actually changes the graphic. So, uh, since we don't have houses with access to the Pantheon, I think I will get the Pantheon Ara Maxima. And it, cha it adds a new graphic onto it. And that means priests from around the city now send destination walkers 
to the Pantheon. Look at that. And it's nice. You can't change it. It's a decision you have to make. But it increased our levies, I think. See? All these uh, priests now have to go this way. And now we're going to start getting lots of blessings because it's going to make all the gods super happy. And look at that. The new large oracle. We have one large oracle, basically. Oh, isn't that amazing? Anyway, I think we actually managed to cover all the new features of Augustus, the new version of Augustus, which is essentially Caesar 3 in 2021. Caesar 3 in 2021. It's, it's so much new stuff. So much stuff. From rotating buildings to how things work to all these new gardens and stuff. Look, the gardens look nice. Just having like rows of plantable trees and things, it's, it's, it just really makes everything feel a lot more alive. Look at our secret garden over there. <laughs> the roadblocks, the global labor pool, the military controls over here, right? The work camps, the engineers' guilds, the mothballing of buildings, and Lizaran, thank you so much for making this map, which is very. I like Lizaran style, very naturalistic. Uh, and the download of Augustus should be coming with a few of Lizaran's maps. Blessing from Mars. Look at that, we're getting all the blessings now. Oh, it's just a whole new breath has been breathed into Caesar 3. Even the roadblocks have special controls to allow certain things in if you so desire. This city is terrible, by the way. I know. <laughs> uh, we've, we've somehow gotten a lot of money though. Look at that. Oh, we're under attack. Oh, right there. Okay. Everyone just charge straight into that. It's an actual attack. Jeez, those spears are so pop- they're one-shotting us. That's crazy. The spear's one shot. Blessing from Mercury. Uh, that blessing feels so much more worthwhile now. See all the, the workshops suddenly just done. Okay, good. Uh, the new military supply post and feeding. Food status, well fed. Ah, uh, it's such a, it's 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 so good. It's so good. Caesar three. It's a whole new game. By the way, these monuments and everything, all of this, you can play through the campaign with this stuff. So we could do a whole new campaign playthrough. Request for four thousand denarii. Oh, also. Our culture rating, I assume, got 8 points from from uh, building this, because I did set the option for these things. So culture dumps are no longer required. Uh, you can build two grand temples uh, in each city, I think. Um, I assume it means the Pantheon counts as well. So you could do Pantheon and, for example, Mars. The Mars Grand Temple, again, it, it has the, the, the choice. So it says all temples, uh, the levies are reduced, right? There used to be four, now they're three, so that does save some money. Oh, we're getting a lot of attacks now. Uh, 
Pantheon doesn't count, so you can get two Grand Temples and one Pantheon. Great. Slaughter them. Good Empress Gratitude, nice favor, a hundred. Oh, it's good, right? It's good. Anyway, if you want a more vanilla experience, check out Julius. Bianca spent 10 years working on Julius to make this open source even possible in the first place. A huge thanks to Bianca. And then the communities picked it up and now there's a team creating new graphics, programming all of this stuff, and all of this modded stuff is in Augustus. Uh, so you want to check that out. Uh, it's good, it's good. And that is gonna be the end of today's stream. We've, we look, we've just, ah, uh, it's so good, it's so good. Ah, uh, go check it out, go check it out. Um, I've had a lot of fun looking at all this. Disease, yeah. Okay, our houses burn. Fine. Oh. We need more. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh, I hope you enjoyed looking at the new version of Augustus going into 2021. Lighthouse next. Oh, we could build a lighthouse as well, but we've, we've gone for just under three hours. You could build such a nice city on here. I want to build a lighthouse up there. It's just... Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thank you all so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you'd like to support the channel, do check out Patreon, patreon.com slash GamerZack. Direct support means we, means we run fewer ads, so thank you so much for the direct support, and everyone enjoy the fewer ads. Um, do also, uh, if you'd like to support, uh, check out GamerZack.com slash Humble for the Humble Bundle referral link. You can buy games, it supports the channel, and Humble supports charity, so it's great. There's also a merch store at GamerZack.com slash shop, where I design my own stuff. Join us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at GamerZack. On all of those, I am active and contactable. And drop by and say hi on the Discord, discord.gg slash GamerZack. The Zack Lights, we hang out every day. Let's drop in and say hi. If you're watching on YouTube, click the buttons on the screen right now for so much more content. Thank you all for joining. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.